Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I decided to film um, an eye look for you guys today. So it's a sort of get ready with me. I've already done my base face. I've done my eyebrows. The only things that I haven't done are my eyes at this point. And I wanted to use the Ofra Good To Go palette. So I will insert um, a section of video where I swatch everything and I show you the colors, but I wanted to really just play around with this palette and do a look with it. This is the inside of it and it is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the mint and green in there. You have a highlighter, a bronzer, a blush, and then the six eye shades. So, well, and actually that one probably could be used as a blush as well. But I'm really excited to try this. I will be putting the shades up on the screen of the, the shades that I'm going to be using when I'm using them. Um, because the shades are listed on the back of the palette and I don't want to have to keep turning it over to get a good thing. I also have a mirror that I'm going to be looking down into. So this is the first time I'm doing this. So bear with me. You guys are always so kind. I get messages and I really appreciate all your support. So we're going to start. I'm going to start with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is in the shade Eden. It's a lighter color. Oh my gosh, so not used to doing this on film. Okay, so I put that on my lid and then I'm gonna take a cream shadow brush and just spread it. And I might need more, but we'll see. And I put it all the way up to my eyebrow. I get it all the way in the corner and I make sure that it's spread out everywhere. Just a thin layer and I do this um, Usually I'll do this as the last step of my primer and then I'll go and do my eye look and then I'll do my face. So I like this to be a little bit tacky when I start. So, and I'm just going to use this palette. I'm going to see what I can do with it. I was really excited about the, um, the green color. Okay. So got my base on. And then what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to take the BK Beauty 206 brush and I'm going to put it into the most neutral shade and I'm going to use that all over my lid to kind of set and I'm going to put it up a little bit above the crease as well. So just to get a little bit of a base, set that down. I'm going to do both sides equally. I try not to turn my head. Because I find that if you do that, you're going to get a different look sometimes with your eyes. It's harder to do than I think sometimes, but I try to go in as straight as I can so that everything looks more equal, but we'll see if that happens. And I also have a color switch here that I'm using to wipe off my brushes. Um, I'm going to go in with the BK Beauty 202 brush. This is more of a um, transition crease brush and I'm going to go into the darker brown shade and I'm going to use that as my transition color. So I'm going to put it a little bit above my crease because I do have hooded eyes and the hooded eye doesn't always allow for color to show above the crease unless you actually place the color there. So see when I when I open my eyes, you'll see that you can hardly see above it. But if I go like that, you can see it. So I try to put the color a little bit above so that it shows up. And then I go in and I'm gonna go in with the actually, actually the bronzer color. And I'm gonna use that in my crease. Which is not really showing up great. So must be this bronzer is not really that pigmented. You could see it a little bit, but no, I'm not liking that. So we're gonna go into the darker berry color and I'm gonna use that in the crease. It's a shimmer and that's not bringing me much pigment either. So I'm gonna go in with the matte burgundy color and see what that does. Oh, that's better. Okay, I like that. Okay, and I'm gonna go there. So I really wanted to play around with the green shade. Um, oh my gosh, it's so pretty, that mint green shade. 
So, so far, let me show you. I'll pick up the palette and show you what I've used. So, so far, I've used um, this shade as my lid base. And then I used this shade as my transition. And then I went in with the bronzer shade for my crease and it didn't quite work. So I tried this berry color and that didn't really work either. So I went in with this deeper pinky mauve and that worked pretty well. So now what I'm going to do is on the outer half, three quarters of my lid, I'm going to try the mint color and I'm going to see what happens there. Um, I really think, I hope I like it. Oh, I'm so, I get so worried about color guys. Do you get worried about color? And I never use like greens, so. Oh wow, that's pretty. That's so pretty. That's pretty. That's really pretty. So I guess, I guess it's a little more subtle than I was thinking it was gonna be. I thought it would be really, really bright, but it's actually, Blending, I'm going to take my blending brush from BK Beauty. This is the BK Beauty uh, 201, and I love this brush. But I'm going to go in and just kind of blend everything together. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay. Okay. I like. I like it. And then I'm going to go in with this bronze shade here, and I'm going to do the inner portion of my lid. So just to brighten it up a little bit, get in there, get in there. Okay, I'm going to now to do my brow bone and my inner corner. I'm going to go in with some pieces of this highlighter, which is called All the Lights. I'm going to use my brow bone and inner corner with this brightest shade up here. I'm not sure exactly what that's called, but um, I'm going to say the light one. <laughs> so it's part of the All the Lights highlighter. So I'm going to go up there in my brow bone and then go down into my inner corner and along the edge here where I get, I get pretty um, blue in those corners. And I'm going to take my teeny tiny little brush here and go right in the corner. Okay, so that is that. I think I like it. We'll see. I'm not going to add any liner, but I am going to go in and do some mascara and then and do my um, waterline and I will be back. Okay, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I think it came out really pretty. I like the... I think it's definitely a neutral look, even though I use the green. I don't think that it really makes it look too bright or bold. Um, I'm sure that you could use a glitter glue or wet the shadow. Maybe it would go on a little bit um, brighter, but I really like it. I think it's so pretty. I like the green. Um, I definitely would wear it again. So let me know what you think down below. If you like this style of video, let me know. And um, if you'd rather see me do something different, let me know that as well. I'm definitely willing to hear suggestions. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, please thumbs up. And if you've liked me, then please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. And I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. Bye. Well, hello guys. So here is my overhead shots of the Ofra palette that I'm using for my get ready with me. This Ofra palette comes exactly like you see. If you flip it over to the back, you'll see that it has the label of the good to go and then it has all the shades listed. So when I edit the video, I will put um, on the screen the name of the shades because when I was using it in my get ready with me, I didn't want to have to keep flipping it over back and forth to um, let you guys know the shades. So with that being said, let's get on to the swatching. 
Okay, so this is the first time I've ever done something like this. So bear with me, and I have a little bit of a boo-boo, so I can only swatch with a couple of fingers. But I'm gonna try to keep everything in frame as best I can. When you open the palette, and the reason I got this was because of Makeup Mug Wump. She convinced me because she had tried it on her channel. First of all, you open it, it says, Smile, you are beautiful. I think that is cute, and I'm like, well, that's really nice to be reminded of that, because how often are we told that, right? So when you get the palette, it comes with this really nice, like, hard shell plastic over it, and nothing was shattered, nothing was broken, it was truly packaged wonderfully, and I really liked that. And then it's also, this is squishy, this is, like, pretty squishy, so I felt like even if it was bounced around a little bit, it wouldn't have like lodged the shadows around and they would have been okay. So on the top row, you have four shadows, matte. This is matte, matte, shimmer, matte. You have a shimmer on this side and another shimmer on that side. The middle is a highlighter and this is called, I know this is called the All the Lights Highlighter. And then there's a blush here and a bronzer here. I have used this palette to get ready with, but I have not specifically swatched it. So let's get into the swatches and um, let you, uh, you can let me know what you think. Okay, let me know what you think of the filming, what you think of the shades themselves. So I'm going to start up on this corner up here. So I'm going to swatch this one and they do move around. They are magnetic. You can pull them right out. Um, and here is this shade swatched. Okay. It's a really pretty peach. I guess there is a little bit of a shimmer to it. There's a, there's a shine, like a satin shine to it. I don't know if you can see it. The next shade is sort of like a, I don't know, it's like a burnt orangey shade, I would I would say. Tan, tannish orange. And I'm, isn't this sad? I'm getting an age spot. I'm only 42. Oh. So there's that. So these two shades are really actually very pretty together. I did use them um, in the look that I built. The next one was the one I was super excited about. It's the mint shade. But it was not as bright and pigmented as I thought. On my hands, it looks way more bright than it did on my eyes. And I don't know if it's because of the pigment or because maybe I didn't wet it or use a glitter. The next shade is this really pretty, I don't know, I'm going to say like mauve burgundy. And I'm going to swatch that right there. So again, I didn't think that one had a ton of pigment to it either. Um, it looks a lot darker in the pan. I feel like all these shades look a lot darker and brighter in the pan than they do swatched out or even on your eyes. Next up are the two shimmers. So let's try this one. And then the mauve one. And do that here. Now, this is where I felt the game changed. These are really shimmery. They are absolutely gorgeous. And they go on so easily. They're so creamy. Um, they definitely do not patch. And I felt like the color payoff on my eyes were at, it was absolutely gorgeous, and I would totally keep those two shadows for certain. And then last but not least, I have the highlighter, which I used in the look. Um, I used this, this really bright sh uh, shade up here, but I'm just going to swirl my finger in the whole thing and swatch it there. So if you use the whole thing, you'll see it's like more of like a goldy pinky champagne. And then here's the blush, which I did not use in the look. I don't think I used it in the look. But you'll see, look at that. It's even less pigmented than the shadow. I thought the blush was going to be really dark, but it's actually not. And you know what it reminds me of is part of the Samantha March collab that she did because I thought hers were going to be really um, dark as well. And I really like the Ofra powder formula. So I'm really thrilled to have some more. So I'm not disappointed in this at all. It just was different than what I thought. And then finally, the bronzer, which was absolutely less pigmented than I thought. I mean, that hardly shows up. 
So what are my thoughts on this? Well, I think for somebody that is my skin tone, it's fine. It's great. You're going to get a pretty look with it. But if you're any deeper than me, this isn't going to work for you, I don't think. I don't know. Ladies with deeper skin tones, you let me know what you think. But to me, I feel like you'd really have to build up these shades quite a bit to get the color payoff. So let me know if you guys have this palette and what you think. Um, I'm curious, actually, to see if the shade names are on the back. I've never looked at that. So let's see. If I pop one out. Nope, they're not. So if you want to label these and take them out of this palette, you would actually have to put a sticker on the back with the shade name. So that's another good thing to know too. So this is the Ofra Good To Go palette. Thank you guys so much for watching.